Katie. <sighs> Welcome to the live show every Tuesday, every Monday at two o'clock. Um, we hang out and we make things. We do crafty things. Um, look at that mess back there. I've been crafting up a storm up in here. Um, I have been sublimate. I sublimated so much stuff last week. Literally bought probably $100 worth of fabric just to sublimate. And I sublimated all of it. Like, I have to go back to Joanne's to get it. So, if you guessed, that's what I got at Joanne's the other day. I got sublimation fabric. And I did a video on all my favorite sublimation fabric in Joanne's. But I haven't edited it or put it together yet. Um, you have a bling question? Well, it's a good day to ask that because what's new today? Bling is new and basic paper files for my members. So there's a bunch of basic shaped banners. Um, and we're going to be building out a lot of basics for you guys because you guys know we are like killing it in the extra world, but we need a little basic in our life, all right? So um, if you're re-watching the replay, welcome. We love you. I'd love to hang out with you live. I'm here every Monday at 2 o'clock p.m. PST, uh, hanging out, doing all the things. I'm a little, like, running late on everything. I just got to the studio, like, 30 minutes ago um, because we did the bling launch, and I was hanging out at home, and it's super rainy today. It's been, like, sunny and 75 or 80 degrees it's been beautiful but today is raining and I've just was like this is the type of day I love when I have nothing to do and I can just I'm literally in sweats today I was like I'm wearing the sweats I'm wearing sweats because who knows when this is going to come back because it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow it's supposed to be sunny for the rest of the week which I'm loving too um but all that all of that so I got a bunch of Minnie Mouse's prepped I I'm not going to be taking them to Disney World, sadly. They are a labor of love and doing eight of them. I want them all done really well. And I scrapped a couple of the ideas and started new ones. Not started new ones, but I like changed them up a bit. Where's everybody at? Where's everybody at this lovely Monday afternoon? Are notifications not going out? What is happening? Um, hey, Cobb. Hey, Melissa, the rain sucks. I just washed my car. If you, did you wash it yourself? Because I know like a lot of our car wash places will let you come back if it rains within like five days. If I keep looking over here, it's because there's like a weird bug nest outside of my window and it's like just chilling there. Love yours. Thank you. So these are actually going to Walt Disney World with me and the peeps that I'm going with. Um, but I like to do my ears with interchangeable bows and these ears are reversible so they are this which i can maybe show you the bug thingy see that right there right there there's like this weird bug nest <laughs> can you see it i'm from michigan these are really distract these are like the sunglasses that i wear and people are like your sunglasses are so distracting because i can see myself but uh, these are rose gold acrylic cut on the Glowforge, and these are, um, Glowforge cut MDF and painted with chalked up paint, and then the inside is glittered with what was called Boo, but you guys are gonna have to wait on the new name when this comes out in its collection. So, I couldn't live in California, too many creepy crawlies. Are you kidding, Wendy? That's the only reason I live here because we have the smallest creepy crawlies in the world. Like everywhere I go seems to be like the bug population is just massive, like in size, like the bug size, like our beetles, your beetles, not, I don't know where you live, but other people's beetles, uh, bees. I, we do have large mosquitoes, but I think mosquitoes can be anywhere because we live in the woods. Like, I live basically in the woods. So, NorCal is woods, basically. Seriously, I'm from Michigan. Well, you definitely couldn't live here in Texas, our bug. Yeah, no, Texas. I don't even want to go to Texas, possibly, to see the bugs. Those are so cute. Love the mirrors. Can't wait to make them. Yeah, so this is just the basic Mickey ear cut file, which we have. This will be coming out soon with a lot of really fun stuff. So, just so you know, there's like so much stuff we're working on that is about to hit the internet. It's going to be insane. But today, Bling is back in our mega colors. We are not done launching Bling though. We have 
more announcements, not, not mega mixes for a while. We have the Pixar mega mix line that will stay in stock and the princess mega mix line that will stay in stock. Um, I'm not sure how it's doing right now, if it's close to selling out or whatnot, but, um, we got it stocked and we have eight colors. Actually, this is missing Aurora. Watch the vlog from this morning. Hey, Tiff. Um, watch the vlog from this morning if you want to see a up close and personal release of these. The one color, when I was editing last night, I must have just cut the clip out, but I cut out Ariel. And I was noticing Ariel wasn't selling that much today. And I was like, huh, people don't like Ariel. And then I watched the vlog and I was like, I didn't show Ariel. Um, and I don't even think I have it right here. Seventh sister, are you here? I don't have names on mine. No, I do. It's right here. Okay. So Ariel is magic. So I will show you just an up close if I can, as close as possible. But Ariel, so you guys, have you ever used our color changing stones? We had Sorcerer and, um, I don't know. Name the other stone that we had that was a color changing stone. This is a new color changing stone. It's a shifting purple teal stone. And how can I do this? I'm gonna and show you guys. <laughs> I can't even show you. It. I we show. I showed half of it. I didn't show it finalized in the vlog. Let me find the color shifting stone though, because it is so cool, and I need to bling something with it to show you guys. And our princess line is all specialty coated special stones. Okay, here's one. So every stone in the mix is a specialty stone. Seventh Sister was your favorite, Summer said. I don't know which one's my favorite because they're all so beautiful. You are so beautiful. Okay, let me see if I can capture that. I can't even. Okay, hold on. Let me show you. Okay, when you look at it a certain direction, maybe I should glue it to something so I can show you. I don't have any glue. Let's see if I can just stick it to my thumb. Okay, stay on there. Stay on there. So when you look at it in one angle, it's teal, and then you turn it, and it starts to turn purple. Let's see if I can just get it like this. It's so hard to show you. It looks like a little bug. I can't. It changes. Believe me. It changes from teal to purple. I don't know if I can. Oh, here we go. Oh, why didn't we do this? Okay, there's teal, and then you turn, and it turns purple. You see that? It's hard to tell in the video, but... You, so when you have it on something and you look at it from one way, it'll be teal. And then you look at it another way, it'll be purple. So I cannot wait to try that, this whole mix out on something. But super cool. I saw a car like that the other day. It was really, really cool. Um, but anyways, Ariel did not get the love it needed this morning. And that's Ariel. So I saw a bunch of you guys in there ordering this morning. You guys are rock stars. Thank you so much for always supporting my team and all the random things that we come out with and things that we do. Um, I could I could see it. Okay, that's awesome. I definitely want it. Yeah, it's a really cool, cool, cool stone. Um, so really, really in love with these. I've already almost used all of my Aurora ones because... Aurora is actually what I'm using to do one of these guys fully, fully blinged. These are also going to be featuring my chalked up paint, my chunky glitter, my fine glitter. Um, if you guys aren't on my email list, make sure you're on the email list. I just launched the second line of pixie dust. So we are starting to launch our super fine pixie dust again, which is all the glitters I used to carry. Um, but in these really fun lines, but they're also coming out in individuals as well. If you'd like to order them individually. Thank you, Tay Tiff and Stafford and the kids. Thanks. And you guys only got to see Landis for a second because she goes to school now. So she doesn't get to come help us as much with fun things like this. But Landis has actually started to help on the behind the scenes of the membership a little bit. So you guys are seeing probably a lot of files being added back in. And we are having a huge revamp of Disney. So just wait for it. I'm, I'll give you a better timeline probably Monday. Um, I'm drinking a cold nitro cold brew today, which obviously I'm not really drinking it. It started out like there. It's down here. So I'm not sure how much I like it, though. It's warm. Like, it's not cold. They don't ice it. So... 
I also haven't been drinking Starbucks very much, so I just grabbed one on the way here. I don't know, if I come in late, I always just grab a Starbucks because I love their tomato mozzarella sandwiches. That's really why I like Starbucks the most. Um, let's make some character bows. So, all that to say, I make my bows interchangeable. I make, I have perfect bows. Let me just show you. This is not the color that will go on here, but what I do is I take perfect bows with me in all different colors and then make a character bow that clips onto the outside and holds the bow on so that you've got your bow. And then I can turn it to this side if I want to too. And my ears can be reversible and I can get photos of multiple ears at once, but also I have two different ears as well. So I wanna wear two different ears. So I'm making character bows for lots of different characters. I have 16 different characters I am making character bows for. I'm gonna put these back on because I feel like they're more fun to wear than just look at. Nitrous Cold Blue is supposed to be extremely cold. It's not extremely cold. It's like extremely not cold. <laughs> it's like warm. And it's not just like, cause it's been sitting either. It was extremely cold. Love those Rapunzel ears. Thank you, thank you. Stephanie got these on the Glow Forge and I cut, I painted them and glittered them and assembled them and did not film it, but it's pretty simple. It's, you glue them together. I, I, if you need a tutorial, I'll figure that out for you. Um, but I have been filming. I am doing so many new things for you guys that it's been crazy, but it, I can't talk about any of it because it's not out yet. So uh, what is out is bling and fun things. So I am making a Woody character bow which I'm very excited about. I'm making Ham, Rex, Woody, Buzz. Can you guess the movie? I'm doing a safari hat, which I got on Amazon. I'm not sure where it is. I thought I brought it here, but apparently I didn't. So I have to look back at home again. Um, a leopard, a tiger, and a giraffe. And I'm so excited about those because I may have designed whole new files just for those ones. Um, I'm doing Marie, the Disney castle, Russell, and what's, what's my character? Tinkerbell. And I'm, I, I keep thinking I'm going to slip up and say who I'm going with. Guess is not who I'm going with. Anybody? Somebody guessed one person right. Nobody's guessed all the people right. And one of the people I'm going with, nobody has guessed. So Willow is Pocahontas. Yes. Willow tree is Pocahontas. Um, and then I'm doing Rapunzel, Aurora, Belle, and Ariel. What are the mini heads behind you? I'm just jumping in. So I'm actually vlogging that whole process, but let me just show you this one because I think this one is my favorite so far. Um, they're a labor of love. And let me just tell you, spray paint does not work on these things unless it's gold. Gold spray paint is the only thing I found that would work. So remember how we were chalk painting these last week? Chalk paint for the win, but sealing it with clear lacquer. So I, because it's raining today, I wanted to come in and seal one and bling some with you today. But it's raining and I have to seal outside. I cannot seal these in the warehouse because it stinks. So um, I need a full long day to seal in the morning and stay here until they are on do not disturb. This is annoying. So I got the new phone or it's the new update period for iPhones that doesn't allow you, you have to, I don't know. It has all these new modes that you can put it in instead of just do not disturb. And I changed it to just personal. Um, look at this one. This one is just fully chalk painted so far with Americana, no, with rain. Look at how pretty it is. I love the matte. So this one started out matte and then I Mod Podged over her face. I'm not sure if I'm 100%, I like it, but I wanted some of that matte left because I'm gonna actually bling this with Rapunzel on her bow. So Rapunzel's gonna go on her bow. If I would have redone this, I think, which maybe I'll just recreate it with this one. I would have kept her face matte 
and glittered her bow and blinged her ears or the opposite or just glitter. I don't I like her. I don't want to ruin her because I like her monochromaticism, which is not a word, but once I put Rapunzel on, she's still going to be pretty, but gold is coming in to the picture. And I love how monochromatic she is. So I don't know. Then we're going to add purse straps. It's going to be a whole ordeal. I'm vlogging it. There may be flowers involved, lots of things. So with my princess character bows, I actually, while I was at Joanne's, flowers were on sale buy one get two free i think or buy one get three free yes it was no two free it was a lot it was a great sale it was bad like i need more flowers but i do um because i'm gonna do a character bow with their flowers so then their flowers will be like this and the bow so let me just do rapunzel for you while i have her is this one did i have this bow did i just put that over there Who's that pink for? Not sure. Okay, so Rapunzel will be these two flowers and her bow, but then it'll have a Velcro so that it can go around and then it'll sit like this. And I don't know, maybe I don't want it like that though. So it's definitely different looking at it when it's on you. I love them. I think I bought those for Christmas, woohoo. Um, Currently, none of the bling is showing sold out. No, nothing is sold out. We stocked a lot of it. I know Pixar is close to selling out because we got, we stocked less of that. And um, so that one is actually selling out. It's closer to selling out. It's not selling out faster, but it's closer to selling out. Um, but like I said, Tiff knows the recipes now. She is under, like, she's got all the stuff down. So for the last three or four months, we've been training on, ordering it, mixing it, recipes, remixing recipes, getting new recipe cards made so that um, she can get in there and just make stuff. She also has some other fun things that she's launching too for our bling line that I cannot wait to announce. But um, in the process, she's learned how to do it that she's like, can I just launch all these too? And I'm like, yep, do it. So um, new things, lots of new things. That's what happens when you have one person designated to do all the fun things for products. And I know you guys have been begging for me to try to keep things in stock. And it's just literally was a full-time job on top of my antitay.com membership files, all the things.com. So um, now I am able to like really, really do what I love to do, which is design for you guys and craft with it. So I'm just excited. Um, and I was able to make these, like I'm able to actually create things with my products because now they're gonna be in stock. I don't have the fear of like showing you guys and being like, oh, but you can't get these. So they're in stock and they're staying in stock. Um, they might go out of stock for a little bit cause that's how it works, you know, um, but they will come back. I need to go see the new files still. So the new files today are just basic um, paper files designed by Melissa. But um, I have we're been working on a huge, big new Disney launch that I'm so excited for. Like, it's, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. That's all I got to say. So, oh, and I also, if you guys watched my stories, I went to the new Joann's. And they had these flowers for Rapunzel. But look how big those are. I wanted, a, like, a, just a medium one. I have littler ones. But... I didn't want something this big, but it's pretty cute. But I also was looking for something for her as well because i probably going to be putting flowers, but it's just too big. And her stamen is falling. They're also top heavy if you don't put something in them. Um, I have a funny story about stamen. You guys thought I love history, but today I love science. Um... Damon, which we have not made one character bow. Let me get moving on character bow, and I'm gonna tell you the story of Stamen. Um, so in sixth grade, I'm all about mnemonic devices. I love mnemonic devices. Do you know what that is? It's a like a thing that you use. Did I not grab scissors? I swore I grabbed scissors. I was like, grab scissors before you go live because you know how annoying it is when they you don't have any scissors. Um what the heck? They're in here. Okay, sorry. Back to the story. In sixth grade, 
my science teacher was my one of my favorite teachers and she had all the mnemonic devices and they were good ones so when tell me if you guys know this this one but when we were learning the anatomy of a flower and the science of a flower we learned that the stamen was the male part and that's this this is a stamen this is the male part of a flower and we learned stay men it has the word men at the end of it so it's the male part and then the pistol is down here right the female part i don't know where the pistol is but there's a female part of the flower and it's the pistol and we learned it as the pistol pack and mama so i always know the difference between the male part of the flower and the female part of the flower now i get to seventh grade my science teacher in seventh grade is not my favorite teacher she is actually one of my you know how you have some of those teachers that go down in history is like oh yeah that teacher she was that teacher day it can't it couldn't have been day one but it was close enough to the beginning of school where you know you're barely talking to the kids i was at a brand new school i had no friends i knew nobody in junior high because my parents thought it was a good idea to change me out of my whole district because of the kids that i was hanging out with in sixth grade so um yes i just wasted a little bit of this ribbon don't judge me i'm also using the world's worst scissors this one actually would work for this perfect size so i didn't waste anything um so anyways i get there and we're doing review okay and flower anatomy comes up for review and i'm like i got this i know all the parts and mr mrs what's her name I'm not gonna say her name because we don't want to exploit our old mean teachers but is going over all of it and she's like okay ladies and gentlemen where is the male part of the flower and someone's like right there it's the stamen and then she goes okay and what's on the end of it and i'm like i got this it's my time to shine and i raise my hand and she's like yes and i'm like men and she's like men and i'm like yeah stay men men and she's like pollen pollen is at the end of stay men and i was like no men is at the end of stay men so i was mortified never talked again in that class and that's my story for the day of science um okay so let me tell you the proper sizing of this so if you want to make character bows does anybody actually make Mickey ears here? Like, sometimes I feel like I'm making Mickey ears and, oh, look at these ones. These ones are pretty too. This will also be a file. Let's change over to Belle for a second. These ones are acrylic. This is driving me nuts that my phone is not on Do Not Disturb and I can't see some of your guys' comments. Um, hey, Tamitra, did I say that right? Uh, I was thinking of making embroidery ears. That would be so cute. Make Mickey ears. I make them, but I 3D print them because I'm lazy. Um, I made all my Mickey ears on my trip. Yay, I have been making them. We bought season passes this year, so I've been making them for our trips. Lots of pink sold out. First one gone, y'all are the business. Wow, I did not think Pixar would sell out first, um, but that's crazy. So lots of pink is sold out. So our Pixar is back and ready to rumble. I want to get like an exact size for you guys on character bows, but I just kind of eyeball it because I make them so often. They're about this size. This is probably four. Well, a dollar bill is six inches. So it's probably like five inches about. Um, and then I just put Velcro on them. You can sew on your Velcro as well. If you're trying to be more legit, I guess. So I'm making, I'll just tell you guys, I'm making a tutorial for our sublimation sewing scrunchies because you guys have been asking for that. And the bow and the head, not the headband yet because I'm still tweaking exactly how the headband is supposed to be. But I'm trying to do a no sew version and a sewing version of everything that we come out with. But there are some things that no sew work way better for and then some things that sewing works way better for. So the head, the scrunchie 
to sew the scrunchy part works way better and then to glue the bow part actually works a lot better. So, and that's really, because it's easy because sewing a scrunchie is pretty easy. Okay, so now you have the base of a character bow. It's literally just a five inch ribbon with one piece of Velcro on the right side and one piece of Velcro on the wrong side. So then it closes in a loop like so. You can be more strategic with like making sure it doesn't show and stuff, but this is gonna be in the back. And then I'm using my Woody and Bow ears. So this one already has a character bow on it. So I'll just take it off. This is from our Mickey Ear Factory. This actually has um, the interchangeable bow mechanism on it as well. So I have two ways to do it. I have a tutorial for this one where you slide in a hair bow. And then I also, you don't need anything on it if you're just going to do a character bow. So Woody is going to look like this, but so this is a SVG and this is just, it's almost the same concept as Rapunzel, except this SVG actually has holes in it, which I opted out of holes for these because it ends up getting covered anyways with the, the lace, but this one does have holes. I don't know if you can tell that I threaded the lace through and this is bow. So she has a lot more lace on her bodice than Rapunzel does. This is a SVG for cutting with your Cricut. This is also an SVG. You could cut this with your Cricut as well, but it's designed to do with the Glowforge. About to hit the road to head home for the day. I'll be listening though. Have fun at home. Look at how cute this koozie is that Sam made. Um, she made a Woody and Buzz one with our sewing tutorial template, sewing template. Um, I do have a tutorial on how to make these, but they're so cute. She used our Woody and Buzz SVG and then added this cute little bandana, like so cute. And then she used our bling, Pixar bling, um, Pixar bling and our HTV in holographic. Look, there's holographic HTV on there too. So cute. So those are going with us, um, but I'm trying to make the ears match. So I got these headbands. I feel like I got these headbands, which I'm glad the headband comes off of it so easily. It's literally just glued on there. Um, I got these bows, I think at Hobby Lobby. I feel like I got two whole sets at Hobby Lobby and it came with just a ton of colors. And so I just grabbed them because it makes my life easier when I'm trying to make a character bow and I just want the basic color, but then I want to embellish it. So there's that. Um, so I am going to turn this guy into a woody bow by adding this on. And so this is what a character bow looks like, just chilling. Like it just hangs like this and then you can pop it on, but they're designed to wrap around this size bow. So the perfect bow is needed. So see how this one has a clip on it? I have a tutorial on how these work, but these just slide. This one's an off-center bow too. Why is it off-center? Because maybe I just didn't mean to make it off-center because it's not obviously off-center. Okay, go in there. So that's the clippy interchangeable bow that stays on there. Otherwise, if you were to just use a character bow, you wrap it around both, and then you wrap it around the headband, and then it stays on like that. So then you have the extra large bow. You don't have to do something like this on it if you don't want to, and I probably won't use red. I'd probably use like, I don't know what color I'll use for Woody yet. What color do you think I should use, or should I tie bow in more to the bow? Bow into the bow. I don't know, what do you guys think? So, but I like to have these guys embellished. So instead of taking the perfect bow and like putting cute things on it, I will do it on the character bow. That way the red can go for, so I had a friend going and I was helping her make ears and she was doing Spider-Man, Belle and something else that needed red. And I was like, why don't we just make one red bow 
and then we'll just make three different character bows and then you can change them out. So this is my Disney bin. This one has actual Disney pins in it. So like I have Mickey Mouse, I have Tink. Oh, I need to make Tink because I'm being Tink. Um, what else do I have in here that I'm gonna need? I have multiple Tinker Bells. That's fun. I have Tigger, which I need. I have Dory, which I don't need, but I love Dory. Um, look at these. My, my, my. I love those. Thanks, Clarita. I'm not sure what you asked, but thanks. Clarita's always a rock star at answering some of your guys' questions. Ariel. Do we have Ariel? Super cute. Um, then I also have like the the Zoom Zoom version of some of these characters. You're welcome for the Tame member and would love. Uh, they are Tame member and would love help. Yes, and. Oh, that's not an actual Disney character. So then I have my knockoff Disney characters. Not these ones. This one's something I got on Amazon. Well, I don't know where my knockoff Disney characters are, but these are just fun embellishments. Oh yeah, I just bought beads, really cute beads to do the princesses. So I'm gonna hold off on doing the princess ones. But like, look at this. So last time we were sitting here making character bows, Landis and I were making all the bows and Briley spent the whole time making this. It's a treasure chest and she was like adding all my beads on the inside. And it's just so funny how kids work sometimes. It's cute. It's super cute. I'm not doing pirates for this trip, but I will be and I have like this fun key. So I have fun little doodads. So this is what this looked like before i probably got it at like wishing well does anybody have wishing well anymore ours is closed so it looked like that and she turned it into that by adding treasure to it and put the little skull on the outside how cute is that so character bows are so fun because you can just get crazy and this oh i bought these for the faux whipped topping and look how much stuff i have left of it it's like all the little sweets so when I do any of our like imagination or sweets characters, I can put some of those on there. Are we doing any of those? No, we're doing, we're not doing any of that this time. So I'm probably not gonna use those today, but I really wanted to do the floral ones because it's different than what I've ever done. I've only done just like plastic stuff. Plastic stuff. Look at this little compass. I just I just get this random stuff all the time. You know where a good place to get stuff like this would be is at garage sales. Um, it's like, I haven't gone garage selling in a long time because I end up buying stuff I don't need and then I end up having to get rid of it later. But, oh, here's the sheriff. This is what I'm looking for. This is for Woody. Even though he has them on his ears already. I'm obsessed with them. I found a website that sells tons of really cute ones. Also, um, it's pretty personal.com has stuff like this as well, which our members get 20% off or business members get 30% off. But, um, I'm not sure if she's adding more of this stuff, but she does have like cute little embellishment stuff that she's doing. Um, look at how cute this one is. That would go cute with Tinkerbell. I'm going to put that one on Tink's little flowers. Oh, I have a bunch of those. Look how cute those are. I don't know if I want all of them, but I'll grab them for Tink. Tinky Winky. All right. We have yet to make one full one, but you get the idea. You can make a bunch if you weren't distracted as I am. Um, okay, so Woody, this is actually just like a little clip. I could just clip it on, but he'd be sideways. Um, he's going to have the sheriff on there but I think I want to make tink with you guys because it'll be a little bit more in depth because Woody's ears are so detailed already that the character bow isn't going to be that crazy it's more about the ears whereas tink yeah tink is I'm not sure what the ears are going to be because I don't have them yet but I got this cute flower I just want the top I got this which thought made me think of tink too but it's a little big. <laughs> you could put like Tinkerbell hanging. She's big. So I was thinking of just, can I get just one of these off? Yeah. 
So you can just grab, if you don't know, silk flowers are like destructible. So you can literally deconstruct them and just use little pieces. This one I'm super excited about because I got my safari hat and I at first was looking for like banana leaves and all the little things, but they were huge. They didn't have anything little. So I'm gonna use these and then I'm gonna make some other felt flowers for the top of it. Um, it's gonna be so cute. Okay, so Tink, I don't, I kind of want to do her on like a pink flower. Why does pink remind me of Tinkerbell so much? Like even though it's not really Tinkerbell color. I think I need two of those. Or three maybe even. So my Tink. No, I have this color for Tink. Okay, so this is going to be my character bow for Tink. Um, Tink needs an acorn. That would be cute. Or uh, there's a thimble in there. I have a thimble, I just remember seeing it. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this on the headband for now, um, but I'm gonna embellish the top of it to make it into Tinkerbell. I'm gonna do these kind of like going sideways so that they are sticking out. I'll show you guys in a second. Um, So these are really fun because then your bow can be really cute and then you can just do basic colors of ears and change up your Mickey ears really quickly. Um, and then if you only wanna wear like one pair of ears, because ears are the part that are hard to store when you're walking around the park. So if you have more than one ears, more than one ears, more than one set of ears, um, it can get kind of tricky to hold on to them. So if you just have a bunch of different bows, you can change them out per which character you're meeting, which I know at Disneyland, you can now meet the characters again. So that's super fun. Okay, there was a thimble and I literally was like, oh, I'm not doing Cinderella, I don't need it. But hello, a thimble is a kiss to Tinkerbell. Oh, and a little needle. I have so much little random cuteness in here. There's even a little compass, which reminds me of Pita Pan, which this whole month, I'm gonna be doing a lot of Peter Pan stuff. Look at this, it's a little jar of glitter. We need that, we need that in our life. Okay, I'm glad I'm doing Tink because she has a lot that goes with her. Okay, where'd you go, thimble? I saw you in there. I saw the thimble, there it is. It's kind of like a plastic thimble, but it's still cute. I could always paint it. And look at that, it's a thimble. Okay, so we wanna do a thimble, a Tinkerbell, yeah, we're gonna do a thimble, a Tinkerbell, maybe her little bottle of pixie dust, and then one of these little flowers. And then I kind of, no, we don't wanna do pink. I'm gonna have plenty of pink characters to do. Oh, but the button is pink, so that's cute. That kind of gives it the little pink pop that I'm wanting, but not like a full pink flower. Yeah, okay. Do I want more green flowers though? Let me just double check what that would look like before. Why do I keep getting pink vibes? Like when I think of Tinkerbell, no, that's too much, way too much. Okay, now I'm going to glue. What I like about buttons is they, the hot glue like seeps into the holes and holds on to it. Oh God, see, how's everyone doing? What are you guys up to today? Um, I'm up to just launching bling and hanging out with you guys and making stuff for Disney World. And what else am I up to today? Um, we have a game tomorrow with my high school rival, not my high school rivals, my high school that me and Dustin went to. We met there and our daughter goes to a different school and she's playing that team tomorrow. So we're very excited about that. Plus a lot of our friends that Landis grew up playing um, softball with are on that team. So we're going to see a bunch of our old softball friends, but now we're playing against them. So we are like so excited. We're, I'm, I'm like so excited. I'm, it's supposed to be done raining. So I'm really hoping it does not rain because I'm excited as heck to see this game. And so I have that to look forward to tomorrow. I'm still, I'm working on some stuff for this and I'm working on stuff for you guys, um, Rosetta's Pink Fairy in the Tink movies, Pink Vibes. 
right? But I don't know why I think of pink when I think of Tinkerbell, like herself, because she is, she doesn't even have pink on her. Okay, what was the other thing I wanted on here? I've got Tink, her little flower, a thimble. Was there not, did I not pick four things just sitting here? There it is. I was like, I know I had something else. So this is so cute. Let's see, I wanna just like, it literally says pixie dust, sprinkle, and think happy thoughts. I got it at Hobby Lobby a long time ago and I've been waiting to use it. It's so cute. I, I can't remember what, I, it was back when I was making Mickey ears like all the time. I would just go to Hobby Lobby and when this stuff was on sale, I would just stock up on it. So I have so many cute little embellishments. I'm just gonna kind of put it. Um, it does have this little thingy. So like if I were to put it on ribbon, I could like dangle it, but it's not the right look. I just want it to like tuck in there, but I also don't want to take away from like what it is. It's like scrapbooking, but on a bow, you know? And it fit like right here. I don't know. You guys might think that this is dumb and I might think it's dumb. So, oh well, it's super cute. <laughs> so it's not dumb. Okay, it's so cute. Sorry, I totally asked you guys a question and I just got distracted with what I was doing and didn't even listen, but that's how I don't get anything done. Late, but here, welcome. I'm working, <laughs> says Tiffany. Man, tell your boss you need a break. <laughs> okay, you guys ready to see the character bow of Tinkerbell? She kind of looks like she lives in a forest. It's a little, it's a little foresty. Hold on. It's cuter in real life. I think what I need is more flourishes. Um, we're not done yet. We're not done. You're not done until you're happy. I kind of feel like I could use some of my jungleness on it. Let me see. So these little guys come off. I'm definitely not gonna need all of this, so that's good. Um but I think I need some flourishes up in here. Ooh, I like these. These parts don't have wires, so they cut really nicely. I just need some, just some. And I also was gonna add wings to the back of it, but I don't wanna make wings and I don't have wings. So flourishes it is. Oh, this is cute. See, that's how you know when the project is getting close to being done. When you start to look at it and go, oh my gosh, I love it. If you're not at that point, then the craft is not done. And if you can't think of something to do, walk away and come back to it in five years because that's what we do, right? Our unfinished crafts just get bigger and bigger. Okay, this is getting out of hand, but it's so cute. Any guesses on who I'm going with? Three people. Three people I've never gone to the park with, but one person I've never met in real life. Green jungle, trying to think of lost things you could add. Oh yeah, lost things are so cute. Okay, this this is what I love about Mickey ears is like you can literally have an excuse to go above and beyond and put random stuff that you would not want to wear on your head regularly. But on Mickey ears, it's great. Okay, I'm gonna ask you guys for advice in a second on if I should do more flourishes. I kind of did like a asymmetrical kind of thing. Do I need to make it more symmetrical? But I feel like that added a lot to it. Look how cute that is! She has a lot of lost things on there. She has pixie dust, a button. It's like a flower with a button. It's a lost things flower. I love that. Okay, so do I do more flourishes, and I would cut fresh ones, going downward? coming from out of here and going downward? Or is the asymmetrical flourish perfect? I've been laying in bed fly over two months from a migraine and I won't go away even with meds. These live videos are 
and such are keeping me occupied with fun things. Thanks for putting a smile on my face. Oh, I'm so sorry, Robin. You make me want to go live more so you have someone to hang out with. Oh, I really want to start doing more and more lives with you guys. I'm just, everything is, it's just been a fun year of trying to get this studio in order and all things, but it's set up. Like we love this spot. I love this spot. I even brought, did I even say this? I was about to say it. I brought a rug from my house. that's like cheetah print that I was thinking of cutting in half and like trying to do a DIY rug on my stairs to make them look a little better. Um, but love it as is. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. Okay. So it's time to take this headband off. Yep, it comes off just as easy as the Woody one did. So these are like baby headbands, I think. It, I Maybe I didn't get it at Hobby Lobby. Oh, snap. This is, now it's undoing the back. I'll have to reconstruct the bow. Okay, let me put some hot glue on the ribbon part because that's coming off. I'm just going to cut it. Which I think actually this headband might have a loop in it. If I were to want to clip just this onto the headband. I don't know if it's a real loop. You know how those baby headbands have loops? That's what it is underneath there. But there's the headband. Good for nothing now. No, it's a nice piece of elastic. We can still use that. It's a lost thing. Um, that's the same conversation I'm having, but losing the battle as I have bling in my cart. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that, that conversation is. I missed it. Um... But guys, these products are going to be anti-taste staples. They're not like, they're the recipes we made, we worked so hard on because we want to make sure that they are gonna stay in stock. We're not gonna not be unhappy with them. Um, please go live on Tuesdays. You can keep me company while I'm at the, at chemotherapy. Oh my gosh. What time on Tuesdays would I need to be live? Um, to keep you occupied at chemotherapy. Yeah, what time PST would that need to be? Because honestly, if I have a reason to be live, yay, new rugs. I just brought the one for my house because it, it's a long story why it doesn't belong in my house. Would you ever do hot fix stones for putting on t-shirts and fabrics? Yep, we would do hot fix stones. Um, we've had a lot of requests for it, so... We have already been thinking about it and um, we just need to make sure that it's something that you guys are going to buy. The bow color is perfect for Tink. Thank you. Yes, and it's going to go with this shirt. We are doing Bella Canvas mock-up shoot for you. So now it ties in that green with that little flower because I wanted it to be like cute Tink, but I didn't want it to be like matchy-matchy. I also didn't have a bow in this color. So... I got this bow and then added the cute flowers. Look how cute that is. Ugh, I love Disney. I love making things for Disney. Like when else do I have an excuse to do this, make this type of stuff? But I will tell you, my friend who has a dance daughter, um, I make softball bows one time a year if I'm lucky, if I get the chance to make them. Dance moms get to make bows every single time their parent, their kids have a recital. I'm like, what? I want to be a dance mom, but Briley wants to dance. Landis, not so much. I don't know. I'm late to the party. Love those ears. I really need to buy that matching to make those ears. Hot flakes, bling, woo. And I asked you guys a couple of weeks ago if you guys would want us to do kits to make ears. We can sell the kits because it's just shapes cut out. It's not actual Mickey ears. You cannot sell Mickey ears completed. So it would be like a kit. And a lot of you guys said yes. So that's one thing that definitely. Okay, I'm seeing these colors together and I'm like all the inspiration. Look at how cute these and this color and this color are. So this is what my like, princess character bows are about to look like. Oh, so cute. I got to adhere this to a ribbon so that it's done. I don't know why character bows. <laughs> I just don't enjoy this part for some reason. I don't, it, it's such a weird thing, but like, I just don't, maybe I'll do the pink ribbon on the back of this. I don't know why I don't enjoy this part of 
character bow making. Like every time I go to make character bows, I just want to do this. And then I'm like, I don't want to put it on the ribbon. I just want to make them cute. I'm going to try not to waste this one. Dun, 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 dun. Did we get a time I need to go live on Tuesdays to keep you company? How many more weeks of chemo do you have? And everyone be praying for her because that is no fun. Um, yes, kids. Yes, kids. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Let me see if this is the same length because this one turned out pretty good. Pretty good. This one's a little shorter. Let me make sure it'll fit around a pair of ears. It's not the right ears, but I just want to make sure. I guess I don't need that bow on there to see. So see, that's like the proper size. They don't need to be that. It doesn't, I don't think it needs to be five inches. Uh, did we see the time? 9 a.m. PST, my time in the morning. Okay, that's our team meeting we have every single week, but I will try to pop on live. How many more weeks of it do you have? I am scared to use my new laser. Uh, did you get a glow forge or just a regular laser? A laser. Okay, I feel like I need to dress up as Buzz when I do my first Glow Forge project because I need to be Buzz Lightyear if I'm gonna have a laser. Um, 9 a.m., but how many more weeks of chemo do you have? And um, if you feel more comfortable about telling us what it is so we can pray personally for you, that would be great, but you don't have to. Um, direct to film printing. Ooh, that's fun. Direct to garment. Like, is that what you're talking about? Direct to garment? Um, I don't want to miss your comments. I feel FOMO when I look down and start crafting. That's why I never get anything done on these lives. Because you guys are having a conversation. So, who was with me on the premiere this morning? Um, I'm still getting used to that abbreviation. I have at least five more treatments every other week. Okay. So, oh, thanks, Kelly. Um, man. Man. I hate cancer. I hate cancer. I bet you ate it too. Prayers going your way. Yeah, we definitely have a community of prayers. So feel free to ever share what's going on with you guys. Trying to figure out if I should do sublimation or direct to fabric. See, I don't have a direct to fabric. So I don't have anything to compare it. Like I have, I don't know what to compare sublimation to it. Wasn't there live, but watched it and an hour ago. Stop tempting me. Love this morning's reveal. Thank you. Do you guys enjoy that? All it made, I mean, it made me love vlogging, but like I want to make the studio so cute because I'm like, if we're going to be seeing the studio, then I have an excuse to actually make the studio cute. I've just left it kind of where it is because I'm like, I, nobody sees it. I don't need to make it any cuter, but um the like you saw all the warehouse areas in the vlog so i want to i just want to decorate it don't be afraid there are a few people who in taste community that have lasers who would be happy to help you yes yep for sure our community is awesome and so helpful i think the time was nine yeah i it would be 9 a.m pst if i were to go live well you needed me to be live but it just doesn't work for the next couple weeks i'll be in disney world and then um i will be back when i get back from disney world funny how that works you're back when you get back um but maybe we'll have some videos for you to watch is this your house craft room no this is my studio i moved out of my house because this has a warehouse and two upstairs rooms and two downstairs rooms one is tiffany's office now um, and one is just a room where I literally throw unfinished crafts and it's getting out of control. So I am wanting to vlog that and share that with you guys because it's so such a big part of what I do is making the studio functional. And like I need, I moved my heat press out because it made holes in this cheap top from Ikea. So I moved it out to the warehouse first because I need the airflow, but I need to get a um from harbor freight one of those rolly carts because i need a sturdier but lower because i'm short um 
countertop for it that rolls in and out of here so that when I'm doing HGV, I can be in here. Wow, I just whistled. Um, and then when I'm doing sublimation, I can go out to the warehouse so that all the off, I was sublimated. Did I count? I think I sublimated over uh, 75 sheets of fabric last week. Um, yeah, cause it took over two hours at a minute a piece for me to do each one. And then, yeah, it was, it was a lot, but it's all for photos for you guys to see new stuff that I'm coming out with. Um, but last week I asked you guys, and a lot of you guys have the eight and a half by 11 sublimation printer, right? Not the, what can you call them? The, uh, big guy. So I got to make sure those files are also available in the eight and a half by 11. I heard the stretchability is better on direct to fabric than white toner. I could see that being a thing. White toner is definitely, it feels like HTV a little bit. So of course right now I am blanking on the names of the places I saw that did them. One just, one was just a couple, not a big corp. I have the 15,000, okay. Well, I definitely will have files for the 15,000 because that's what I have too. So I've been creating all the files so that I can bring them to life. Um, I just have to make sure the files are also an eight and a half by 11 so that when you guys download, you have both options. Um, yeah, but I'm just making a lot of templates right now and there's gonna be a lot hitting the internet on the membership. Sources for direct to fabric files got it um you're a sublimation rock star the airflow is blessing i'm sure yes it is and thank you most eco tanks are sold out everywhere yeah i need to get advertisement on my etsy shop that i will print out bigger sublimation sheets for peeps who want them missy corbin good to know um also yes if you are a business member of mine and you do services like that type of stuff um Make sure that you let us know because we love making sure we can partner with you guys to let our community know you're a place to shop for that type of stuff. So whether you are a someone who owns all the big fancy machines that we all have and you can do some sort of service, we want to know and we want to share that with our community um, so that you guys win for being a business member. I'm starting to do it. Okay, reach out to me, Missy, on Insta, because I wanna, um, I wanna talk to other people who can do that, because I that is something that I would love to do, um, is being able to sublimate for people. So, okay, Tink is done. She's a character bow. Can you see how fun these are to like just create for the trip? And then you make as many characters as you want. And then it's so fun and so cute. Um, let me see. I don't have any green perfect bows lying over here. I have a yellow one. Oh, I have, a, I have one like this color over there. So I'll try it out on that. But I'll be taking some pictures because Tink and Peter Pan are going to be featured on my Instagram all month. Because of the Pixie Dust launch, we have four more Pixie Dust sets launching. Um... I'm so excited for them, for all of our colors to be back, for some new colors to be back, for chunkies to be in. Like, it's just, I've missed having glitter and I've not enjoyed how much you guys have asked me to bring it back and how much I just was not ready for it. But we ready for it now. Thanks to It's Pretty Personal, honestly. Like, I could not do it without them um, being so amazing and patient with me, like, they have been wanting to help me launch my glitter for over a year and we started the conversation and I was just not ready for it and now we are and I love it. I'm so excited for it and you guys get discount on their whole store, not just my products, but their whole store. So we are going to do our best to make sure that they are um, seen and heard because they have really good glitter. They so So Pixie Dust is actually different than all the glitter they've carried. It's um, finer. And that's why a lot of you guys missed my glitter because I actually had such a fine, fine glitter that it was hard to find recreations of those. And I just didn't understand that. I thought everybody had 
those basics, but they did not carry the cut that I carried. And that was what made it magical. And I'm so glad we called it pixie dust because that is what makes it a lot different than everybody else's glitter on the market is it's so much thinner. It's like a full coverage glitter. Like this was one coat on chalk paint and it's fully covered, fully, fully. Like I just chalk painted it and glittered it. This is a chunky, but um, this is also chalk painted and glittered. It's so pretty. This one actually, did I seal this one? I have not, I think I did resin and sprinkled on top of the resin. I tried to seal it with resin. I try, I'm trying to use UV resin. I'm not the best at it yet because I'm cautious with my airflow. So then I usually try to do it like outside and then it's sunny and so it starts to cure. So I have like a love hate with resin so far. But all right, guys, we're at an hour. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Thank you guys for always supporting me and my team and my membership and all the products. You guys are rock stars. And just remember, you guys can buy the bling and sell something that you make with it and it'll pay for itself. I feel so like we have so many products coming out that I'm like, man, we're just launching product after product, but we are right now just rebuilding our store to be amazing. So it's not always going to be like new thing after new thing after new thing. But remember Tiff is like in her spot and now she's like finally going with the flow and all old products are being restocked and that's just where we're at. And and that means as new things come out, old ones are going to be restocked. So just wear a mask. I have a respirator. I need to wear a respirator when I do it too. But a lot of the times I want to like not wear a mask. I'm, I'm, I'm awful. I just need to. You're right. I need the PPE. All right. I love you guys. I will see you next Monday. Um... I am going to be a working bee for the next week. I also have a wedding this weekend, so I'll be gone. But um, working on a ton of stuff for you guys. And as soon as it's done, I cannot wait to. And the member files will be new. Like, I'm working on a lot of member files. So it won't just all be products. It'll be a lot of new files and things like that. Yes, respirators are tough to wear for long. All right, love you guys. See you next week. Bye.